Hello everyone, this is James Lakers and we are back to the game of Thrones. And last time we just handle the rebel and now we have to look for Tyrek, I think. Tyrek. At last! The man who everyone is talking about? The famous Alistair Sarwick? We already spoke in the key. You pretended you were just a foreigner. But now that you're with your guards, you finally show your true face. This morning I was only a stranger, but the situation has changed and I have to act. You are the man who started the rioting which led to a full revolt. You know nothing of our problems. Your family sits warm in your castle while we die of hunger in the streets. He proved that he is on our side today, Tyrek. He preferred to use Riverspring's coin to appease his wealthy allies on the wharf. But he was generous, in his judgment, and he was able to stop the slaughter in the marketplace. I've made decisions which may seem unjust to you, but they were for the good of Riverspring. Our town is where it is today because ties with the lords of the Westerlands have been cut. To bring our lands back to health, we must gain the trust and support of the lords. Unfortunately, your efforts seem to be in vain, Alistair. May the Lords of the Westerlands rest easy. From now on, I will do everything in my power to restore Riverspring to its former glory. You disgust me. You reveal yourself for what you are. Despite your actions during the rioting, you defend the privileges of the Lords. Nothing changes. The people will continue to die of hunger while the Lords feast. During the rioting, the people of Riverspring did not die of hunger. They died by the sword, Tyrek. Do you not take any blame for having brought about these massacres? Riverspring has suffered heavy losses on both sides, the people and the guards alike. The guard will fight to the end for the survival of Riverspring, but your decisions did not help us at all. You're so interested in gaining the people's love that you'll lead the town to ruin. You can't rule the town with weak actions. The people no longer support you, Tyrek. Your cause means nothing now. He's right, Tyrek. The rioting was foolery. Many of our people died today. Leave it be. Enough bloodshed, Tyrek. Accept your defeat. Accept your situation. You have no support anymore. Yeah. You may have calmed them with your pretty speeches, but I know that it won't change and we'll just keep dying. I will rebuild Riverspring again if it costs me my life. We will allow no. I will rebuild no, it cost me my life. He has to die now. I will allow him to die. And you will hear it all from the dungeons. Guards, take him away. You succeeded, Lord Alistair. These riots very nearly destroyed River Spring. Bowen, you address me as Lord now? Although yeah. you do not officially hold the title of Lord, you have shown that you have the soul of one. From this point forth, I shall address you as such. I shall try to be worthy of your trust. The town may be appeased, but I could not please everyone. It is difficult to lead. Your choices will always leave someone unhappy. The important thing is that you made decisions where others would simply let the situation deteriorate. The decisions you made today brought peace back to River Spring. That is all that matters. He is right, Alistair. I never thought I would say this, but River Spring needs a man like you. It would be a shame for you to leave now. Thank you, Ryman. Rest assured, I do not intend to leave. Not anymore. Good to hear. Now that this matter has been taken care of, I would like to carry on our discussion regarding my brother, Garwin. Not here, Alistair. It has been a particularly delicate matter since the death of Lord Reynold. Find me at the castle. Understood. Okay, so now I have to go to the castle. Courtyard of River Spring Castle. Keep moving. Move, move, move. Wait. I need a card. 
Yeah, I don't need to pay anything. Cool. I don't need to buy it, anything. Alistair, it is important that I speak with you. I need to meet up Howin again. She seems worried. She seems worried. Yeah. What is it, little sister? I am sorry for the cold welcome during the burial. I lied to myself by saying that you no longer meant anything to me. When Harwin informed me that you were helping Ryman handle the rioting, I was afraid something would happen to you. Don't I would worry, never have my forgiven sister. Myself. Do not worry, little sister. I have returned. Are you planning to remain at River Spring? Stop this. Are you planning to remain at River Spring? I intend to take control of our land. Stop doing this. I want to say this, you know. I want to stop her. To marry that bastard. I intend to take control to yeah, I'll choose this. I am going to make certain that you will not have to endure this damned marriage. How did you know? Harwin told me of it, but do not worry. I will seek an audience with the Queen at the Red Keep in order to reclaim my title and inheritance. Be prudent, Alistair. By stopping the marriage, it is the decision of the Queen herself that you are questioning. And if she is offended, then we will lose everything. I know that, but this marriage would mean the end of Riverspring. You do not know the true nature of Valar. I am well aware of that vulture's reputation. He and I have nothing in common. Look but unfortunately, her. he is close to the Queen. House she Lannister is the angry. richest house in Westeros, and one of the most powerful. Look at With her a faithful face. vassal such as Valar, they will surely help face. us. I see your point of view, sister, but I will not allow Valar to share a future with House Sarwick. I spoke to Harwin, and he told me that Father had banished him, and rightly so. I would not have you make such a sacrifice to keep Riverspring in the family. I am sorry, best. but I cannot share your optimism, brother. I hope your words will move the Queen. I bid you take leave and speak with Harwin now. She seems angry about that thing. Okay, don't worry about that. Got to talk with Harwin. Master Harwin. It's me, Alistair. Alistair. Wait. I need to check out everything. You know, take everything. And talk with him. Coin. More coin. No. No. I need to find out everything. Yeah, small coin. No? Okay. Now, it's time to talk with... No, this one. Yeah. Green, green, green. Okay. Check out everything here. No, it's locked. Damn. Okay, now it's time to talk with Matt Howen. Let's speak now that we are alone, Howen. Tell me of Garwin. I remember little of him as a child. He was restless, but not bad at heart. He has certainly grown up since then. His relationship with your father had become increasingly strained these past few years. To what extent? Well, their arguments had become increasingly violent. Several days before his death, 
your father disinherited Gawain. As a son of a noble family to be disinherited is a fate worse than death. This could be reason enough for Gawain to commit the unforgivable. But there is no solid evidence of that, is there? No, just theory. However, since this happened, Gawain has disappeared. Would you know where he might have gone? He enjoyed visiting your men, sir, in King's Landing. I happen to be going there to seek an audience with the Queen. I will see if I can find him. My priority is to get my titles back. I will become the Lord of these lands as my father wished. I will find a way to stop the marriage. Valar will not have Riverspring. The sun yeah. be praised. It is a relief to hear it. But before all else, I must inform the priesthood of my decision. Your old bedchamber is still there. Lord Reynold did not want it touched. I ask that it be readied in the hope of your arrival. I thank you, Harwin. I thank you, Harwin. Now, I have to go this way, so... And I will go this way. And see everything I can take. Take. Yeah, this. Now just keep moving, move, move, move. Anything here or not? Nope. Okay, now. Nope. Check out everything here and here. Nope. Going inside. Oh, awesome. Good evening, Master Alison. Good evening, Master Batharios. What news from your stay on the other continent? I mean, explain him my uh, better to explain what the situation is here. The news is quite dark, I'm afraid. I pray that Relor will light my path. My family and my house have not fared well. I cannot return to Bravos. I must take my rightful place here. The night is dark. And full of horrors, my brother. I understand that you may not leave your people to wander blindly, far from the light of Relor. But in making this choice, does it mean that you have decided to leave our order? I did not say that. I am and will remain devoted to Relor until I die. The fact that I remain in Westeros in no way changes my dedication to our temple. Quite the contrary. What do you mean? I believe that our organization would do well to have a Lord of Westeros devoted to our cause. The light of R'hllor will shine upon my subjects and neighbors. I see. Well, we can only encourage such initiative. Our order has little representation on the continent of Westeros. I may need you to send me Denio to help me in this task. It will be done. No more than the two of you know. I will inform the rest of the clergy of your decision and your devotion, Master Alistair. May the light watch over you. I thank you, Master Batharios. May the light watch over you as well. Yeah. Ah. Spring has recognized his authority and it would seem that he has decided to stay for good. Indeed. I spoke to him about it and he has decided to take on his responsibilities here. Huh. 
Maester Harwin, do you truly believe that he has a chance of changing the Queen's mind? Have confidence in your brother, Ileana. Now? She. I don't doubt my brother. I doubt Valar. Worry not, little sister. Look at me. I am Alistair. Harwin, prepare for my voyage. I am leaving for King's Landing in order to request an audience with the Queen. Relor as my witness, I will be the new master of Riverspring. So... I'll stop here. And we will see what will happen at next time in Game of Thrones. And thanks for watching and take care.